there are a number of things that are coming together that really change everything about networking and the technology that underlies it. If you look since, oh, let's just say the last six years, the, the growth in mobile is up about 50,000% on our network. So you start to say, okay, well, I have a giant trend towards mobile. Then you look and you say, well, um, now video is there. Video is exploding as the primary use of the network. Globally, it's over 50% of network consumption and, and you know, we at AT&T and, and um, collectively as the U.S. market tend to lead a number of those trends. Um, and so there's a video explosion you mentioned earlier, the Internet of Things, which is a very different kind of network. It's small chatty packets running up and down. So I have these big sticky bits of video, I have these little chatty packets, I have everything moving from the ground to the air. So we have been forced to fundamentally rethink the, the technology that delivers it. We've had to change most of the processes that we manage internally uh, because the speed and the pace of change that's happening in the con, uh, consumer and business marketplace. And importantly, our people have to change. You know, we've, we've spent, uh, we're a company, that, I think Brookings Institute in a couple of years is gonna be 100, it's, it's a baby, we're 136. So, um, you know, you have legacy and people do things certain ways, we, we now have to, go back and retool a workforce that's you know, near a quarter of a million strong um, to go do things in this new environment. So it's challenging in every dimension, the people, the way we manage the business, and then the underlying technology that we build.